Hi, Amir. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hi, Leo. Good morning. Everything is fine with me. What about yourself? I'm also fine. Thanks. Thanks for asking and thanks to be here to share your talk details which are going to present in Regional Scrum Gathering Hyderabad, India 2019 on 29th and 30th March. And for the viewers right now, I am with Amir Pallad, who is going to present a workshop on power of habits. Habits which have a great influence on the work which we do in our life and uh, work. So let's start with a brief introduction of Amir. Yes, Amir. Yeah, so hi, everybody. My name is Amir Pallad. Uh, my experience with uh, Agile, I have exposure, exposure since 2006 working with different multinational companies, which were located in uh, United States, Netherlands, Germany, UK. Uh, great exposure to different cultures, different people, amazing experience. Uh, I also got exposed to Scrum Alliance. So I started with a certified Scrum Master, built up on that, got some experience. And half a year ago, I became the first certified team coach in Eastern Europe, so really, wow. really exciting journey. First CTC in Eastern Europe, that's wonderful. Yeah, thank you. So coming to the uh, topic, power of habit, this word habit we use so frequently. So what it is exactly and how it impact our life? Ah, great one. Uh, habits, so first of all, they are behaviors, yeah? Yes. And unlike most behaviors, which are at the conscious level and we need to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Habits are behaviors, which we've done so many times in the past mm -hmm. that we no longer need to make any decision. That is, they became rather automatic. And they're really, really powerful because they're part of everybody's life. Yes. Uh, and uh, if our most of decisions are based on automatic behavior, certainly it influences our life. Okay. So now, based on this discussion, I am curious to know that how this power of habit is directly related with the world of agile and the world of flexibility. Right. So for me, Agile is about culture, is about people. It brings people back to the focus. Okay. And um, what we do is, okay, we do acknowledge that we have some previous habits, which mm -hmm. helps us to uh, go where we are at this point in time. Mm -hmm. However, in order to try something else, we also need to change our behaviors accordingly. Okay, so we need to change uh, in behaviors. That's why it is very important. So, uh, of course, I want to change my habits. This is the, mm. one of the common conversation when sitting with closed ones. What is the most important thing in changing habits? Yeah, so you're already at a good start, meaning that you have the awareness of the habit that you'd like to change. Uh, what I propose is to follow a specific loop, which is called habit loop. So first of all, you start with the cue, with the trigger. Mm -hmm. That is what triggers your specific behavior. Mm -hmm. Then a short description about what the behavior is by itself, and then reward it. Okay. And it comes over and over and over again. Now, when it comes to the desired behavior that you want, mm -hmm. you also need to determine what is the trigger that will ensure that the new habit will take place? Okay. What is the desired behavior and how are you going to reward yourself? And the cycle repeats. We are human beings and we, are, uh, we feel happy when we get rewards. And I think that's the yeah. key to change habits. I mean, would you like to share your personal experience that how you use power of habit? Yeah, sure. Wow. What to start? I have so many examples. Um, to, 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 let's start, for example, with CTC, Certified Team Coach. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I made myself a habit, which again was at unconscious level, not to finish with the uh, application. Mm -hmm. And once I became aware that, hey, this is something that I really, really want to do. 
Yeah, I do appreciate the knowledge, uh, the experience accumulated, yet I would like still to become certified team coach. Mm -hmm. Using that model, I determine, okay, what is the trigger that can help me to change the behavior? What am I going to do about it? And how am I going to reward myself? So to make it more specific, I decided to take the application to divide each question segment to shorter ones. And then I said, okay, let's address one mini question in a time on daily basis. Mm -hmm. So it was simple. It was really, really small. Uh, I also rewarded myself in a sense that I could see that I'm going towards uh, the end. I also had mini celebrations with uh, my family members. Mm -hmm. And I told everybody around me, hey, this is what I'm aiming for, to get the support that I needed to achieve that. Okay. Um, here, uh, I would like to know that is there something which can help in developing other good habits, like uh, some habits which we incorporate in our behavior. So can it help in developing other habits? Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's take, for example, a chapter lead who approached me and told me, Amir, I'm aware that from the past, people came to me and were asking me how to do stuff. And all of a sudden, I'm expected to do something else. So after we explored that topic in further detail, the chapter lead decided, hey, what if the desired new behavior is whenever a developer approaches me and asks me, what do you think I should do? I will ask that person in return, if you would be me, myself, a chapter lead, what would you do? Okay. And throughout the model, it repeated and uh, yeah, the chapter lead was uh, quite successful in adopting this new habit. So right now, it's already part of that chapter lead. Yeah, it was ingrained. And the chapter lead no longer thinks about, hmm, I'm going to help that person and solve it. And rather is being more curious about, okay, how would you do that if you were me? Wow, great. So what I got from your conversation that uh, a leader knows that success or failure is highly influenced by the habits they have. And they constantly work on routines which can help in developing keystone habits. Uh, am I right to him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So friends, if you would like to experience power of habits, which can lead you in a better person and a leader, come and join Amir Palette workshop on power of habits in regional scrum gathering, Hyderabad, India, 2019 on 29th and 30th March. Thanks for watching. Thanks Amir for uh, your valuable time in providing your talk details. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you.